All right, guys, how's it going? I thought we'd take a look at Alison's words yesterday. You know, he's basically admitted that there was interest in him from Saudi Arabia, and he listened to what they had to say and all that, uh, which would explain some of the reports that we've seen over the last few months uh, about the Saudi interest. Um, but he's very committed to Liverpool. Um, I really uh, enjoyed uh, reading what he had to say, and I'm sure you did too. If you didn't, we're going to go over it. Um, I'm very confused about the goalkeeping situation at Liverpool at the moment because obviously we're trying to sign this Mili Vanilli, uh, uh, Valencia, what's he called, Ma Mamadashvili, something like that. And um, <laughs> you know, we haven't signed anyone like to play now, but we're talking about buying a, a, a player that's going to play, you know, we were told initially a couple of years in the future, maybe a year, whatever. Do you know what I mean? Basically, buy a player, 30, 35 million or whatever, uh, but can't use him yet. <laughs> it's a, a position that doesn't, it's not a priority. And, we, you know, like the rest of us want to see a number six, want to see a centre back, all this stuff. And we're going for a goalkeeper that we can't even. Just, I'm just totally confused with it. Ever since this one first appeared, you know that I've said that consistently. Like, what the. Anyway, great keeper and all that. Uh, but just a com very confusing situation. And I've got to be honest with you, I did wonder if it was a bit of the. Um, a bit like when they forced, you know, when Pepe Reina was forced out of the club. Arguably one of the best goalkeepers at the time uh, in the game. Uh, and he was forced out. He was he was a big earner. Uh, and he was forced out and replaced with Simon Mignolet, uh, who was on a fraction of the salary and certainly wasn't anywhere near as good as him. Uh, and it just made me, I don't know, it's just as that part of you that's like, is this what they're trying to do? You know, is it? Do you know what I mean? And you can understand why you would think like that, but then you don't want to go down that route because you don't want to be coming across as oh, I'm FSG out. Do you know what I mean? Or there's a conspiracy and everything. You know, he's a good goalkeeper. There's no doubt about that. But Allison, as I've been saying in all my videos, I think he's 31, 32 in October. Why are we talking about fucking replacing Allison? I, I, give him a 10 year contract right now. Do you know what I mean? So anyway, I'm sure you've all got your own thoughts and opinions on that, but it's been it's been baffling uh, to me. Um, so I am, uh, just give me one, one second. I, I do apologize. I've just got a, a very important message uh, that I need to reply. Uh, I'll call you uh, in five, right? Let's see if I can do this video in five minutes. Sorry. Right, so let's go back to um, to the quotes. I'm sure you've got your, your opinions about it all, but I really enjoy hearing what Alison had to say. Um, and basically, he said, you know, he was asked about an offer from Saudi. His contract runs until 2026, right, with a further one-year extension available, right? It's 2024. That's three years, guys. Like, he was asked about the interest from, from Saudi, and he said, yes. They had interest. I want to honour my contract and finish my contract here or make a new one. I am really happy here. My family is happy. Now, you might have seen some of the top Reds that have been going around trying to justify this potential, like, all this chatter of, you know, Alison possibly leaving. You see the top Reds coming out, oh, well, it's his, his wife's not happy. Do you know what I mean? This is what they've been saying. Uh, anything to try and make the, it, it sound like there isn't a problem. You know, and it's a natural. Oh, the club's just looking for another replacement because his wife's not happy. He got the he got the player himself here saying, "I'm really happy here. My family is happy. I want to honour my contract, which runs until 2027, or make a new one." The fuck! I never got to the point where I was talking about wages and things like this. This is to do with Saudi. It was just interest. But when you hear about the numbers, you the players are getting, you are a little bit attracted. That is normal. I, I don't want to dig here, but these footballers, man, you know, like, they're on, you know, they can be on 100 grand, 150 grand, 200 grand a week, whatever, right? But if they might get a bit of three, another 100,000 a week, they're attracted to it. You can only spend so much money, you greedy fuckers. I, I, I'm consistent with every play I say that, but I'm right, just saying. But, all right, okay, yeah, what, what, what would I do? What would I do? Right, I'm on 200 grand a week, but I could go up there and get another 200 grand a week on top. Yeah, it's very tempting, but I'd rather be playing, you know, in a top league for in a short career. Do you know what I mean? Anyway, yeah, it doesn't matter. At the end of the day, you play football for love. 
it is the thing you like to do, but it is our profession and we want to use the years that we have to make the most of it. I think I'm open to that personally, but not now. Now is not the time. So he's up for a move out there one day. Uh, and there has been people that have said that he wouldn't go out there for religious purposes before as well. Anyway, while I still have my contract here, I will be focused here. If it is in the interest of the club to negotiate a sale, uh, then it will be a different conversation. When the interest from Saudi came, I cannot close the door on a big deal without, you know, thinking. Uh, but my decision was always to stay and focus on the things we can achieve. This new beginning and this new start, and I'm really excited about that. We are starting fresh with new energy and looking forward to what this season will bring us. Uh, it talks about, you know, the club needs to prepare for the future. We are not going to last forever. You know, I'm getting old, he's saying. Explanation, man. Uh, and then he said, no, for a goalkeeper, I'm still young, which he is. This is why I don't understand. Uh, I have a lot of energy and I still have much to give for this club. And I want to give to the club as much as I can. Uh, they will do it for different positions as well, you know, uh, continuously looking at replacements and things. We have so many important players with the contracts expiring and the club needs to organise themselves for the future. I think it was a good idea. This is looking at uh, Millie Vanilli. Uh, I knew about that before it came out on social media and that is a good message for me because the club cares about what I think. So basically the club has said, look, you know, we're looking at this with the goalkeeper, which I think that's a good thing. Uh, they are doing the right thing, but on... Uh, they are doing the right thing, but on my side, as long as I have my contract and he here, and as long as I am happy here, the club is happy with me, my family is happy here, I will stay. Do you know what I mean? And, you know, he waffles on about the rest of, you know, playing under Anna Slot and all that. But I'm glad he's come out and said all this, guys. I really am, because you know, every time we've touched on this Mama Dash Philly thing, Majiggy, um... I've always been like, I'm confused. Like, continuity, yes, great goalkeeper, right? If Kelleher wants to go, fine. But th that's because he doesn't want to be a reserve keeper all his life. But this kid at Valencia, he don't want to be a, a, a number two. He wants to be a number one, right? And Liverpool are basically saying, we'll buy you, loan you out for a year to, uh, a year to Valencia uh, again, which is supposed to be why it's been delayed because of the, how much Valencia have to pay Liverpool for the loan now. Um... We'll, we'll loan you out for a year, then you can come in because then Alisson will probably be going. Alisson's there under contract until 2026 with a year extension 2027. Wants to see out that contract at Liverpool. That's three years, guys. And would sign another contract if you put it on the table to him right now. So it'd probably extend for five, you know, five years or something. So why? Why are they looking at this? Can someone explain this to me, please? Because, you know, the only thing I can think here, the only possible thing I can think that you would want to lose Alisson, if that goalkeeper, if that player doesn't want to leave, is because of that. It, that's all it can be. So have they seen something here and thought, oh, we can sell him to Saudi and get a nice big fee for him? Is that the thinking? Is there also some thinking to do with the wage? Well, like, well, we can reduce his wages by bringing in this other goalkeeper, which is exactly... What they did with Pepe Reina and Simon Migley. Very strange. I, 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 I. It's a hard one because I know many of you will be going, yeah, but continuity, don't this is a good goalkeeper? Yeah, if you've got a, a, a vacancy, if that, if the goalkeeper's turning out, Alison's saying, well, I want to go in a year or, you know, two years, then fine. But he's basically there saying, I want to stay, stay up my contract for the next two, three years, and I, I would sign a new contract anyway. So there isn't a vacancy. It's and Liverpool <laughs> haven't done anything in the transfer market. You know, you got. Oh God, do you understand why I'm struggling with it? The vacancy, yeah, brilliant, fantastic, great continuity. Oh, he's leaving, right? That's great. Buy him, you know, same. And then we've got the you know the ass kissing, of, you know, in here, uh, you know. Because, you know, Edwards is amazing at planning for the future and all that, and that's conveyed to Richard Hughes. And, uh, it's the most confusing one of the summer for me. Anyway, I'll, I'll leave it with you. Uh, absolutely delighted to hear Alison come out and basically stick it up everyone's ass that he's not looking at leaving at all. He's very committed to the club. And you have to seriously ask yourself why they're looking at bringing in a goalkeeper 
to playing goal a year from now. It, it, before they were saying, oh, like two years, and then it's like a year from now. Even one or two years. I can hear an alarm going off. Um, I can hear something banging outside. Probably the dog. Uh, anyway, so I, I'll leave it with you. Do, 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 do you know what I mean? Let me know what you think, guys. It's just like it's not a priority at all. I don't get it. 35 minutes. Well, uh, I'm baffled. If, if, listen, if you appreciate the video, please thumbs up the video. Please drop me a comment. If you want to buy me a beer or a coffee, hit the super thanks button. Uh, if it's not available to you, read the video description. There's other ways of supporting the channel. Uh, I always give a shout out to those of you that support me in the next morning's uh, morning briefing. All right, guys, take care. I'm, I'm so fucking glad Alison's come out and said that.